Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from the realistic first person video series. In today's video, we'll add our weapon inspect animation and create our ammo display widget. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on the video. Also for the tutorial assets, you need to become a member in Buy Me A Coffee. It's $5 per month and you can cancel it whenever you want. Also, don't forget to join our Discord server. We help each other about the UE and the tutorial series. I'll also choose the video topics from there after this series. Thank you so much for supporting me as much as you can. I appreciate it. So let's get back to video. We are back in first person BP. Right click and call the IA underscore inspect input action. Get our weapon, then get the reloading variable. Then get not boolean and connect it to the branch. As you remember, we've used the same nodes in ADS event to check if our weapon is reloading. So for this kind of case, we can use macros. Go to the macro tab under the functions and click the plus button, then name the macro not reloading. Then add a branch, connect it to the inputs node and connect the true to the outputs node. Then again, get the weapon reloading not boolean and connect it to the branch. This macro will only return if our weapon is not reloading. So if you have such small code blocks that you will use frequently, you can use macros. They are so easy to use and will make your project look clean. You can delete these and call your macro. It looks much better and you can use this wherever you want. I'm not going to use it because I want the codes to look more basic when I'm explaining them so everyone can understand what is going on, but I highly recommend using macros. Get the movement, call a switch on node, and from the walking and crouching, call the exit ADS. Create a boolean variable called inspecting. Add a branch and check if inspecting is not true. Then set the inspecting to true. Get the first person mesh. Call the play montage node. And set the montage to FPPS inspect montage. On blend out, set the inspecting to false. And from the interrupted, call a retriggerable delay node and set its seconds to 3.1 and connect it to the set node. 3.1 seconds could vary depending on your animation's length, but if you are using my animations, leave it at 3.1. Then get a branch and check if ADS held is true. And from the true pin, call the enter ADS. In this event, we first check if our weapon is getting reloaded or not, because we don't want to inspect our weapon while it's getting reloaded. Then we check if we are sprinting or editing our weapon, because again, we don't want to inspect our weapon while doing these. Then, if we are in the ADS, we exit from it, and to block spamming, we check if we are already inspecting. Then we set the inspecting variable to true and play the animation montage. The blend out pin gets called when the animation is finished, so we set inspecting to false, and if we are still holding the ADS key, we set the player back into ADS mode. And the interrupted pin gets called when another animation montage starts playing and stopping our inspect montage. So we want to add a delay to again block spamming if players find a way to abuse it. But after the delay, we do the same things. We select all the nodes, right click, and collapse nodes. Name it Inspect Event. Now when you press F on your keyboard, you'll see the Inspect animation is playing. 
If it doesn't work for you, check your key binding for the inspect. Back in the content browser, go into the weapons folder, right click, new folder, and name it widgets. Open up the folder, right click, user interface, and select widget blueprint and user widget. Name it W underscore ammo display and open it up. Add a horizontal box. Then into the horizontal box, add a text. A spacer. And two more texts. Select the first text, tick the is variable, and name it T underscore current ammo. Set the text to 10, and the color hex sRGB to the hex shown. Then select the spacer and set the X of the size to 10. Select the second text and change its text to slash and set its color as shown. Select the third text, set its name to T underscore mag size and tick the is variable. Set its text to 15 and the color to the hex shown. Click the fill screen at the top right and change it to desired. Now go to the event graph and create two integer variables called current ammo and max size. Then in the designer tab, select the first text and bind its text to the variable current ammo. Then do the same thing for the third text, but bind it to mag size. Click the animations button and dock in layout. Then click on the add animation button and name it no ammo. Click to add button, all named widgets and T underscore current ammo. Again, click on the add track button and select color and opacity. Click the plus button at the color and opacity. Then go to the one second frame and click on the same button. Go to 0.5 and set the text color as shown. And don't forget to click on the same button. Then close the animation tab and set the first text color back to the hex shown. And now you can see the animation we've made for the no ammo alert. Back to the event graph, delete these events and create a custom event called ammo error. Add a gate and untick the start closed option. Then add a sequence node and connect the first then to the close input of the gate. From the second then, call a play animation node and connect the no ammo animation to its animation input. Then add a delay and set its parameter to 1 and connect it to the open input of the gate. Open up the weapon underscore base, select the weapon underscore mesh Click on the Add button and select Widget. Carefully set the widget's transform as shown.
Then set the widget class to W underscore ammo display and set the draw size to 100 to 100. Then go to the event graph and create a function called update ammo display. Get the widget and call get widget from it. Change the name of our widget to ammo display. Then cast to W underscore ammo display. And from the cast, call set current ammo and set it to the current ammo variable inside the weapon underscore base. Now do the same thing for the mag size. Then find the event begin play in the event graph. And call the update ammo display function. Then go into fire event and after the fire hit scan node, call the same function. Then go into reload event, go to the middle execution line at the end, and call the same function before the boolean set node. Lastly, back in the fire event, at the bottom execution line, before the stop fire. Get the ammo display widget, call get widget, and cast to w underscore ammo display, and call ammo error. In the ammo error event, we play the animation we've created but we use gate and delay to block spamming. So no matter how fast you click the button, the animation will not get spammed. And in the update ammo display function, we first get our widget and cast it to its parent widget. Then we set the variables in the parent widget to the variables in the weapon blueprint to change the ammo counts in the widget when we shoot or reload the weapon. Now you can see our ammo display is always locked into our gun. And when we shoot our weapon, the ammo display also changes. And when we have no bullet in the mag, the error animation plays and warns the player. And it also works when you reload. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the video. I love you all. You can also join our Discord server. I appreciate all your support and try to do the best for you. I'll see you in the next video.